This is Bath & Body Works Fanatic 100 with another video. This video is going to be my favorites for the month of December. Um, so this month I have been loving a lot of things. Um, I was trying to choose only a few of them so let me show you. Um, first of all I have for my favorite home fragrance item I have the Yankee Candle um, in maple and this is a really nice scent it's like maple sugar like a really sweet um, but like more of a fall scent but it's been really nice um, and cozy for the winter time so it's a really nice scent um, my favorite lotion has been this, um, the Body Shop Body Butter, and I just got this, but I love it so much that I decided to put in my favorites, um, and this is the Body Butter Duo in Vanilla, and it's got for regular skin and for dry skin, and the dry skin is really, really thick, I'll show you. And it's just a really nice lotion, and it smells of really strong vanilla. My favorite perfume this month has been the um, Taylor Swift Wonderstruck, the original. And this is a really great scent. I don't know how to describe it, but it's a little, it's different than some of my other perfumes. And it's really cute with the little charms on it. So I've been loving that. Um, my favorite lip product has been the Bare Minerals Moxie in the color Daredevil. And this is a really great um, lip gloss. It like smells really nice and um, it's actually not this dark but it is um, it does leave your lips a little darker than a natural color so it's good for days where you want to be kind of natural but um, still have a little something and I've been loving it a lot because um, I've been getting into a lot more dark colors for the winter um, my favorite nail polish has been the Essence um, Twilight Saga Breaking Dawn Part 2 nail polish in the color 03 a piece of forever and I got this a little while back when the movie was coming out um, and I'm a little sad that they I can't find the line anymore because I wanted to get some more products from it but they discontinued it and I don't know where it is I don't know if they have anything on sale or anything but this is a really nice um, metallic gold nail polish and it's just um, it stays on really long. It's really good quality for Essence, which is an inexpensive brand. My second favorite perfume, like always, is the Pink Chiffon, which is it's just a really sweet, great scent. And this is just a little bottle I have. Once I finish this, I'm probably going to buy the full size, since I love it so much. My favorite eyeshadow has been the um, Coastal Scents, as you can see I've hit pan and I'm almost done with it. Um, the Coastal Scents in the color Flesh Tone and I have the full size of this. I'm just trying to use up the sample I got, which this has actually lasted me a few months. So it shows you how long samples will go, especially um, eyeshadow ones. So I'm almost done with it, but it does samples do last a really long time. So, and another favorite makeup item has been the NYX Jumbo Eye Pencil in the color um, Cottage Cheese, and I like to do this in my inner corner, and it just brightens up the eye, and it just um, looks really nice. And this is kind of a more metallic version of milk, like it's got a little bit of um, shimmer to it, shimmer and shine. I also have been loving my 24-7 Urban Decay Glide-On um, eye pencil. 
it's a really great pencil. It's one of the best I have um, and one of my favorites. Um, the only thing is when I do wear it on my waterline, by the end of the day, it's pretty much gone. But it still lasts for a while, a lot longer than any of my other ones. And this is in the color Zero. I'm thinking of buying Perversion um, when I use up Zero. Just because it is a darker color and maybe it will work a little bit better for lasting. Um, and lastly, I just have my Pink Chiffon little body mist um, from Bath and Body Works. Um, it's the same scent as the perfume. It's just more, um, I like to spray this all over and then the perfume on my wrist. Sometimes I'll spray one or the other. And I've used about half of this. Um, the only thing is this bottle is kind of falling apart, so, like, the little spray thing doesn't work that well. So after I finish this, I'm probably just going to buy the fine fragrance mist. Uh, because their bottles don't really break that much. And that is it. I'll go over to my products I used up for December. Thanks for watching. This is Bath & Body Works Fanatic 100 with the products I used up for December. So this month I used up a few things. Not that many, but still a good amount. I used up this um, shampoo, which I got in Italy a while ago. And, um, it's just a little bit, a little small travel, but it actually, since I try to be so sparing with shampoos, it lasts me two or three uses. And it smelled really nice. It was, like, I don't know how to describe it, like, a little bit floral, but a really nice scent. Um, next I used up this scent, Portable and Sweet Pea, which I just kept in my closet. I find the scent portables um, you have to use in really small spaces if you want to smell them at all. So I recommend the Wallflowers more than scent portables. Um, next, this nail polish. I didn't really use it up, but I'm tossing it just because it's so old. I found it while I was cleaning my room. I also used up these shampoo and conditioner samples, which I got in the mail, and I just used them up because I ran out of shampoo, so, and these are um, the Aveeno Active Naturals, and they're just little samples, and those were okay, they weren't amazing, I mean, they were pretty good, but nothing new. Uh, I also used up another shampoo by the same um, brand, so I'm all out of that shampoo. Um, I actually used up a whole nail polish. I'm proud of myself because I never can use up a full nail polish. It just stays there. But this is only top coat, so it's not that big of an accomplishment, but still I'm proud of myself for finishing it off and not just tossing it when it got hard to use. Because it's starting to get really hard to use and like really thick and tinted with color. But I still finished it off. I mean, these last, like, you can basically use one of these depending on how much you use. It's probably last me one to two years or something. It, it lasts a while, so. I used it up and this is just by Rimmel. And I got another one of these and I started using that. And it's the Lasting Finish Pro, and it says it lasts up to 10 days. And this is in the color 170 Crystal Clear, which it didn't turn out to be crystal clear by the end. Anyway, really nice nail polish. Finally finished it. Proud of myself for that. And last but not least, I used uh, my e.l.f. eye primer. This is com basically completely gone. This is just in the color Sheer, and this lasted me a few months, so a little makeup goes a long way. And this was a pretty good primer. It was okay, especially for the price, it was a really nice primer. Um, I now have the Urban Decay one, so it um, doesn't really compare as much to the Urban Decay, but it does work really well for an inexpensive primer. 
This is just a little mini, but the full size of this is a dollar, and if you don't have the money to get the Urban Decay, try the e.l.f. eye primer. Speaking of which, my Target, um, I checked, and it really doesn't have good e.l.f. supply. Um, it's got a really small makeup section, so it's a little disappointing. Um, the thing I have noticed, though, is e.l.f. is going into Walgreens, so I've noticed a few of the products there. I'd be happy if they went all there, so I could actually buy a lot of them because they are really good products that are pretty inexpensive so that is it for my products I used up for December and um, for my favorites for December um, this is Bath and Body Works Fanatic thanks for watching comment rate subs and subscribe bye